when the cross blue lightning seemed to open the crest of heaven, I did bear my bosom even in the aim and very flash it. But where did you do so much to the heavens? You had done, Casca. And those sparks of light that should be not Roman, you do want, or else you view it not. Not that I mean to be a man. Most like this dreadful night, a man no mightier than myself or me. Oh! Oh! To Caesar, and you should speak of is it not, Cassius? Let it be who it is, but woe the while. Indeed, they say the Senate tomorrow means to establish Caesar as a king, and he shall wear his crown by land and sea. I know where I will wear this dagger then. Cassius from bondage will deliver Cassius. Why should Caesar be a tyrant then? Poor man, I know he would not be a wolf, but that he sees the Romans, I'm a sheep. Perhaps I speak before a willing bondman, but I am armed, and dangers are to me indifferent. You speak to Cassius. Such a one there is no fleering telltale. Take my hand. I will put this foot of mine as far as who goes farthest. There's a bargain made. Now know you, Casca. I have moved already some certain of the noblest-minded Romans to undergo with me an enterprise of honorable, dangerous consequence, most bloody, fiery, and most terrible. If I could pray to move, the prayers would move me. But I am constant as the northern star, of whose true fixed and resting quality there is no fellow in the firmament. The skies are painted with unnumbered sparks, so in the world. I do know but one that unassailable holds on his rank, unshaped of motion, and that I am he, that I was constant Simba should be banished, and constant to remain to keep him so. Oh, Caesar! Hence, wilt thou lift up Olympus? Hey, Caesar! Doth not Brutus bootless need you? Speak, hands! <coughs> Thank you. 